Hey everyone, I just want to give you all a quick update on this 2012 Ford F-150. We had an airbag light on. I posted about it all over the Facebook groups. Codes we had were right side airbag deployment control, right curtain deployment, passenger seat belt sensor, and loss communication with restraints occupant classification system module. And in the comment section, a lot of people were giving different advice, like check grounds, but that was not the issue. I was able to solve the issue, and I wanted to explain what I did. So first of all, a lot of people were saying, go get your crash data reset from the airbag module. In this case, I work in the industry, so I did check. There was no crash data event stored, so I knew the module was fine. It was not something in the module. Very important to check. If you guys do want to use our services on eBay, you can look up Seatbelt Masters. That's my company. Or if you want to go directly through us, it's OEM RDC. That's our contact info right there. If you want to reach out directly and save money instead of going through eBay, we do seatbelt repair, webbing replacements, module resets. So to scan those codes, I was using my Autel IM608 Pro, a very good tool. And I'm going to show you what I did to solve those issues. So now we're going to turn the truck on. All we need is the ignition, don't need to start the engine, give it about 30 seconds, and that airbag light should go away if there's no codes. So the light goes away, it means there's no codes. Some people ask, where is the airbag module? Well, in this Ford, there's a jump seat. If we lift the cushion up, we got these two tabs we gotta pop out. We lift this entire assembly up. And under here, we got the carpet lift the carpet that's where it is make sure all the bolts are tightened because you do need that ground for it to work properly and your connections are good so that's that that's how to access it close that up now the codes related to the passenger seat that's where i jumped after checking all the fuses making sure that my module was fine Try to erase those codes. Those codes did not get erased until I solved the issue. The issue was this seat has another module in it that communicates with the airbag module. So that's going to control the passenger seat belt buckle and also the passenger occupant detection system. If you look in the bottom here under the seat, we'll see it has this wiring harness which has the zip tie on. I added that zip tie because this was loose. It was a loose connection and that made it stop communicating with this module right here and this is the occupant detection system most cars now have that and once i fixed the connection this started to talk got rid of one code and the second code for the seat belt buckle because it's got to see that the other code was for the side curtain airbag on fords they're located here in the back behind this molding so I found that the airbag was still there, it was intact, it was not deployed, and when I measured resistance, I was seeing it was reading too low. If it reads too low or too high, it should be around three, but it was reading way off, so I replaced that, and I got rid of that issue. Now I wanted to show the passenger seat belt module itself, I mean the passenger detection system. Small computer looks like this. Make sure that this computer it's paired up with the airbag module. If you just replace this or this, they're not gonna talk to each other until you get them programmed. Also, Fords have a VIN number stored in the module. That VIN number has to correlate with your vehicle in order for it to work properly. So these are the two modules that you need to make sure are in good working order, along with the rest of your stuff, like the seat belts and all the airbags. And that's it, so here's my information again. If anyone ever decides to use my company, we offer great pricing and shop discounts. Thank you.